Good morning. I am up and ready a little bit earlier today. So I have my makeup on. I'm dressed for the day. I'm ready to go. Today is Friday uh, that I'm doing this vlog and you're of course going to get it on Monday. Uh, but today I'm going to take you around. It's going to be a total homemaking day for me. I've been waiting for this day. I love homemaking days. Um, this week has been very, very productive. So I'm ready to just just go into my home and make things right and just enjoy being here. And so I'm gonna bring you along with me today. I hope you enjoyed today's vlog and thank you so much for joining me. Very first thing I'm gonna do though is get breakfast going because I got ready. I did my morning uh, blogging stuff that I do in the morning that I have showed you guys before and I didn't think that was very interesting to bring the camera along for that. So uh, I just waited till I was ready for the day and then we can get the day going together. First up though, I'm gonna make some coffee and I'm gonna make breakfast finally. Okay, so breakfast is done. I have a load of laundry that I just got going as you saw in the video. And now I'm gonna clean the breakfast dishes and I'm also gonna make some granola right now because when I just made my yogurt, that's why I put the almonds and the chia seeds in there for crunch. I normally have a little bit of granola instead. I like to have that on hand. And so since it's homemaking day, let's make another batch of granola and get that stocked up.
have some bread that's been rising overnight. It's sourdough. It's my first actual loaf of the fall season. I put away my sourdough starter pretty much at the middle of summer point because it was just way too hot to be baking in here. Um, and as much as we like to have bread, I've been buying that from the store because like I said, it's just too hot to be baking. But I'm really excited to bust it out again, make some more sourdough recipes. Um, I'm gonna link my sourdough recipe in the description box for you below, just like all recipes that I make that are on the blog. So um, not everything I make, of course, is on the blog yet, maybe one day, but not everything, but this is. And so if you wanna try my sourdough loaf, if you have a starter, um, that's a great one to try it's simple and so I'm gonna get this prepped for lunch because our lunch today is gonna to be super basic I have a little bit of a salad I'm gonna make and I have some leftover potato soup from last night with some fresh bread so um, just a little fall meal for for lunch today Okay, so while the granola finishes up baking and the bread does its second rise, I'm gonna go over here and just reset the table. Um, I took off, since I was doing a load of towels, I took off our uh, fall tablecloth and I have another one here. It's green, it'll do, it's not, it works for fall or Christmas really because of the green. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and reset the table. My granola is just about done. I'm gonna pull it out, let it cool, then jar it up. It smells absolutely amazing in here, um, which is a nice little touch. And since I have the bread, I don't know if I should put it in just yet. I might wait a minute, but I am gonna show you guys one of my favorite salads uh, that we have been making. So it's really super simple, but it's really delicious. So when I grab this out, and I think I might just weight on the bread, I don't know, we'll figure it out. Uh, but in the meantime, while the oven continues either heating or being turned off, I'm going to show you the salad really quick because it's just about lunchtime, so I need to get that prepped. Okay, so I'm gonna show you this. And I got, today just I'm gonna use baby spinach, but you could use mixed greens or whatever kind of lettuce you like. Um, today we're doing spinach though, that's what I have and I have some portobello mushrooms. And you could use regular mushrooms from this, but I find portobellos are just, they're delicious. So I'm going to slice these up, grill these in a grill pan with some olive oil and salt and pepper. quick honey mustard. I have a mason jar. I like to put mayonnaise in mine, so I just do a few tablespoons of that. Mustard, of course, and one of the most important ingredients is the honey. And I know you can make honey mustard with just mustard and honey, but I like it to be a little bit more creamy, so I do a little bit of mayo in there as well. I have my trusty little hand blender.
have to tell you, I am a little bit nervous about this loaf coming out because this is a brand new sourdough starter that I made. I don't know how effective it is yet. I do see the bubbles active in there, but it's brand new and I just made it. So sometimes they don't come out. So later on in the video, if I have a total fail here, if you have an active, good sourdough starter, trusty sourdough starter, uh, don't be worried. This is a great recipe. So I just wanted to let you know that my starter actually got frozen from my horrible refrigerator. Uh, whenever I put something on the bottom, sort of to the back, uh, and let it sit there for a little while, like the sourdough starter was over the summer, it kind of freezes stuff. And I thought I would try to revive it uh, with some flour and water and it was just dead. You could, sm you could smell a bad smell to it. And I thought, oh, I had that for a few years and it was a great starter. So this one will be great after a while, but maybe not the first batch or so of things, but you just gotta kind of keep working on it and letting those bacteria, those good bacteria form and those bubbles and get it nice and active and then you'll have a good sourdough starter. So it happens. So we're on sourdough starter number two. Okay, so now that our granola is cooled, I'm gonna go ahead and put it inside a mason jar to store. I store it right up on my little jar shelf there. As you probably see me pull it down a few times. Um, so I'm gonna get this into the jar. So this afternoon, something I didn't uh, talk about earlier was a good friend of mine is buying a house and she asked me to meet her over there for the home inspection just to check out the house. And so now that lunch is done, my mopping's done, my laundry's done, I'm gonna go ahead and meet her out there and check out her new house. I'm super excited for her. So I think I'm gonna wrap up the vlog with that um, being said, because it is Friday afternoon and we're all done with our homemaking today. So I hope that you enjoyed coming along with me today and and thank you so much for joining me. I will see you on the next one.